back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm Isa. This is my dad. Let me turn on the lights. I love cooking and that's because my dad is a chef. Are you trained, dad? Kind of. He's a hum humble king. <laughs> We are doing meal prep ideas, and I've done this before, but on a budget. Also, kind of not giving technique or any skill or any thought process about how it stores in the fridge. So today we're doing five things in one hour, and the flavors are based off of... Mediterranean. Turkish, Spanish. Oh, I was off. Well, I'm just... No, you're not. <laughs> I'm just trying, trying to be more specific, right? We're doing sable fish, black cob, lemon olives. We're doing tzatziki, baba ganoush, sauteed eggplant, and, and zucchini. Tomato salad. Tomato, tomato salad. So this is actually pescatarian friendly. I have a bunch of pescatarian friends in New York, and they love to eat the veggies and fish, so. The key here is also, these are the things that you could make today and you could eat for the next five days. You could keep it cool, you could eat it cold, you could eat it room temp, you could eat it with as a dip, you could eat it as a snack. So it's just really shelf stable, very healthy. You're not gonna have any tummy problem because everything is like kosher. Everything is cooked through. Right. And, Meal yeah. prep isn't just ground turkey and rice and beans. Yeah. <laughs> Of course not. You might as well just go visit the frozen section, right? It's about prepping and seeing how each day you eat it, you want to go back for more. So we're going to get into that. I'm following my dad as much as you so, guys. This is uh, just black cock from Whole Foods. Right here it's uh, 14 bucks. I'm not even going to pin bone it or whatever. I'm just going to like salt it and portion it. Okay. We're, doing it we're doing it today in just olive oil, lemon slices, and uh, olives. So why does that taste better in a few days? Because the lemon? Because the flavor just de develops. And the um, citrus? Would it be better than making black cod, miso black cod? It's apples and oranges. Depends on who you ask. This is good over a salad. Eggplant char. It's two, two Japanese eggplant. Just gonna char it. Nothing is on there. Just gonna burn it, basically. Yeah. So the eggplant is going, and now we're doing this. Do the sex, second eggplant. We're doing two types of eggplant dishes. One sautéed, so dice, and one's charred, where you get the guts out. Are you making like eggplant steak? Um, no. I'm making it easy for for you guys to just you know you can't fuck it up kind of the recipe. So basically, I'm gonna dice this, uh, dice these guys up, and I'm gonna put salt on them so it draws out the water, just like what I'm doing there with the fish, same way. So that's going. The char eggplant is going. We're just burning the heck out of it. So you see, that's already like crispy. But today we're making papa ganoush. So this eggplant gets crispy now, and then we're gonna wrap it up somewhere let it steep inside becomes creamy and then we're gonna scoop it out and then we're gonna mix it with olive oil a little bit of raw garlic a little bit of uh, yogurt and a little bit of parsley so when it's bubbling it's ready so it's kind of bubbling now you're supposed to enjoy yourself so start from the this side uh, the, and then peel this off too this this bit of ugly it. ugly ugly leathery thing I want you to hold your knife. That's the neck of the knife. Okay, here? Like, yeah, now you have it under control. You tell me when to stop. That's it. Once we chop enough onion, we'll just take it, we'll just wrap it up in the fridge. No more onion? And we're done, we're done with this. Isabel is an onion, onion fan, so. I love onions. So start with that. Olive oil. Wetting the onions means cooking the onions till the water comes out. Little bit of music when you go in. Sweating. Garlic. I don't use the small part of the garlic for this procedure. I save all those little ones for braises and stuff, so I don't have to mess with it. Ooh, is this everything but the bagel seasoning? Oh. Cucumber here. I add a pinch of salt. Uh, I know, I know when. That's it. Yeah. 
Wait, so Lucas made it yesterday and the inside was too soft. The skin was tough. Why? What is it? Is that? What is that? He didn't salt it. Oh. Salt means everything. In eggplant. I, we salt the fish, we salt the cucumber, we salt the eggplant, all of it. Okay. Now we turn the heat up a little bit. Now we're not focusing on uh, sweating the onion. We're focusing on, on like making the eggplant sweet. So we put a little bit of olive oil. Now we have salted cucumber and yogurt. I'm sorry, we're having kind of like back and forth because we're trying to do everything in an hour so we cannot do like one thing only at one time. Oh, Very little grating. Great garlic. Grated garlic. So I don't even need to do all that. That's enough. Just like very one. little. Very little. And now, lemon juice. Now... I mix it. Here, does your sous chef do that? Interrupts you? No. Let it go. Watch this. Watch this. Now... Pepper. Little pepper. Continue back here. We got oregano coming in. These are the flavors of of, of uh, that area. And the uh, sesame seed. Uh, this is not qualified sesame seed. This is a Japanese style, but trust me, it works. And now Bell Bell can mix. Okay, I want you to use dumb fat yogurt though. Don't get the rich yogurt, okay? This is the right one, and this is the flavor you're looking for. And now this will be good in your fridge for the next next few days, where you can eat it with any. These guys, now, comes over here. We're basically gonna split them, and we're gonna scoop the goodies out. This gives a really smoky flavor. Yeah, right now it smells amazing already. Sometimes when it gets too dry, an eggplant sucks up a lot of liquid. Keep it moisturized by adding more, more oil. You want it to be softened. And now, you go slow, you put a pinch of tomato paste. Turn it off, doesn't lower the temperature right away. Tomato paste. You want that tomato to toast, okay? You want that flavor of that tomato to come out. And you see that? That, that right there. You're becoming a beautiful dish. The smell is fucking unbelievable. You see the part that it doesn't want to give you? If it, yeah. if it doesn't want to give you, and don't take it, all right? Just take the soft part that it wants you to have. The skin cracked a little bit, but don't worry. A little skin is okay. It just it just adds smokiness. This looks so good. Is it? You like it? I love eggplant, so... Basically, just do the pull. You're just pulling it. Yeah, exactly. Your energy is here, you're pulling it. Mine, yours goes like this. Mine's goes like this. <laughs> Good job! Oh. Hey. Fish we salted in the beginning is All that now liquid. draining out liquid so and that also, it tastes sweeter. You know what you're also draining out? You're draining out the water that went into the fish after it died. So all that ice water, you're draining it back out. So you're concentrating that fish flavor. The paper towel, yes. you see all that liquid right there? The Just like that. Dry. And let it sit, okay? We're gonna okay. finish the eggplant now, here. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic. You have a microplane, use that microplane. Now, olive oil. And then we're doing a touch of yogurt. Oh, hey, this is baba ganoush. At the beginning of this, I told you I like my this way. Okay. So, here we go. If you if you want to do it papa san way, this is, this is how I roll. Okay. Um, I have no salt in there yet, just yogurt, uh, smoked charred eggplant, and olive oil. Parsley so and eggplant. Parsley has a lot of flavor in the stems, okay? We always wash our parsley and we keep it in a bag with a paper towel so it stays good and ready to go every time we go in. And I'm with Isabel on this one. I like quite a bit of parsley in there. Oh, yay! Baba ganoush. You see that? I just turned right in front of you into a baba ganoush. Some people blend baba ganoush, but I love when you can eat the texture of the eggplant in it because I don't like when it's too smooth. Oh, that's good. Seasoned. You don't go light on the seasoning. When you mix food. Sorry. Yeah? Don't mix it like it. I was holding the like camera. This, huh? Sorry. Okay. Mmm. Okay. No, today is Tuesday. This will taste better on Friday because all that garlic and all the olive oil is going to develop. Okay. Make it a very simple, simple tomato salad with feta, white onion, the white onion that we had left earlier, which is called the Spanish onion, and some green peppers in olive oil and sherry vinegar. The smell is intoxicating of this simple tomato. It's so sweet. You can literally just 
I even make this, you just eat it straight out. Very little salt, very, very little. Some sugar. put the feta at the very end but here we go this is the Spanish style tomato salad with sherry vinegar onion this will get even better green over pepper a few days. this is the prime time to eat is uh, in about an hour but this will continue to be to be good and then you know what's really good about this this dressing right here on the bottom you could put that over a salad this right here that's that's gold actually I forgot one thing in this recipe that makes it absolutely delicious. Cucumbers. Oh, cucumber. The cucumber also makes it even more Spanish because... Why do you peel the skin? Because of the... Because uh, I don't like the skin. It's bitter? bitter. I like my food like naturally sweet. Once this goes in, makes it a gazpacho. See, can you imagine coming home for after a, a, a day and you just open the fridge and you can see this in your fridge? Look at that. But they're whole. They're kept whole. But they're so soft that you could press with a spoon. And now you give it a taste when it's cool. Mm. It's like meat. Tomato salad, papa ganoush, tzatziki, Spanish tomato salad, eggplant. So, cooking. So far, I used one pan today. Five dishes. I'm gonna that dry the other side. Done. All After all the veggies are prepped, you can use the same cutting board so you don't have to wash one cutting board. Inside down. Inside down. Cutting board done. You start everything high. Alright, now that the fish is like smoking, turn it down <clears throat> to medium. So the difference between French cooking and this kind of cooking, which is kind of what I call the olive oil cooking. This is all olive oil, no butter, no capers. No, none, no thyme. This is oregano, this is olive oil, parsley, and olives. And lemon, with your lemon here. Now you put your lemon first. Two olives here. Makes it really delicious when you eat the fish later together with the olives. And then the fish is going to be stored in the oil together like in a, in a Tupperware. You can eat this throughout the week. It tastes like parsley garlic. Now you can really smell that integrity of that specific dish. The flavor comes out. Unmistakably black cod taste. Because you put all the neutral things to bring out the flavor of this fish. So it could be snapper, sea bass, other type of fish. It will remain very honest. So to check, see if it's done. If it's crushing apart. Now that's, that part is still like together. So it's not quite ready. You can do some fancy chef thing here if you like. All that flavor will go in. And now you can turn the heat off. Because after you turn the heat off, it does not it does not stop cooking. It just kind of let it down. mellow out. All this all this flavor from the fish. You see all this umami coming out on the edge here, the white stuff. All that right here. It's gonna season all this vinaigrette. So you take a piece of bread, you just dunk it in there, you crush this up like this. Look, like this, look. You crush this up. You take a little piece of bread. Chalao shu. Mm. See all that? So this? soft. And like the, the olives and the lemon makes it so sweet. Oh, you, if you cool, if you chill all this, it's good for five days in your fridge, no problem. Mm -hmm. So all was done in under an hour. So if you're a vegetarian or pescatarian, you can make this too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, thanks for your help, honey. Uh, my help is staying away. <laughs> this would be like $12, $12, $12, $14. That's just for the $40. Let me plate it restaurant style. Yeah, plate it restaurant style. And we're going to show you how to turn all of this into a $45 restaurant dish. Right? First, you find some sort of a thing where you can make it very precise. Precise. Tall, yeah? Make it tall and precise. Yummy. Oh, it actually looks beautiful. Oh. 
Well, 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 Penel. <laughs> now, in the restaurant, high end restaurants, you never give them odds and ends. Okay? So it has to be precise. Oh, that's right. so true. You cannot give them. Wait, what do they do with the odds and, and ends? And also, then? they don't like the skin. So, you kind of want to turn it. What do they do with the odds and ends then? And the skin? Look, 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 look. I'm, I'm looking. Hey, that's so sad. I would eat the odds and ends and the skin. Not when you're paying $45 a plate. Okay, yeah. So someone, you can put it, like, stack it up high. You make it look beautiful by putting your seasonal yeah, stuff on there. there. <laughs> if you guys make this, tag me, please, because... <laughs> <laughs> so extra. <laughs> Under an hour for all five of these, and you can prep it. That's cute. Ta da! The meal prep. This costs how much? No, no. So the whole thing costs about twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars? Yeah, all this, all the oil. How what is the value of this? Just these portions. Just that portion right there? You mean the food cost on this plate? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> costs you about seven bucks. This costs seven dollars? Here's the thing, $7. aside from the food cost aspect of it, this is food that you could eat for the next five days. Yes, non-meal prep, non-Michelin plating. This is the meal prep that we wanted to show you guys. And what is the food cost of this? This right here, it's 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 about 30 bucks. 30, 32 bucks. But you can eat it over the next few days for multiple meals versus 30 bucks yeah. for to like what? A cob Pretty beautiful. This is the example. Okay, I'm hungry. Ta da! You're hungry? Well, there's food. 